Rocco Boosie or not, but he his original gun charge came out of San Diego. Yeah. Um, yeah. how you feel about him? He, you know, feds picked him up. They saw him on an Instagram video. They saw the gun hanging out of his back pocket. Um, and then they tracked him down and pulled him over and they found I think one or two guns in the car. The feds picked him up. He did get bond yesterday, but how do you feel about him uh being arrested for that? I don't, I don't know a lot of it. I know closed mouths don't get fed. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wow. Uh oh. That's what I know. Closed mouths don't get fed. So is somebody on this team or is it him that's opening their mouth? Whew. I, I don't know. I mean, mm. you. I'll go say, in San Diego, the courthouses, he they literally walked him across the street. We're not gonna put none of that on Bootsy yet, right? That's who we know. But let's say for the sake of argument, he did. After all that he talked about, rat snitches. I mean, he's been on wax, he's been on your boys' platform. No, if he if he was the one opening his mouth to the feds, as oh. you put it. And I'm not saying he did by any means, but what if he did? Mm. I, I won't be surprised. No, hell no. Hell, he... man, <laughs> just just think about it, man. <laughs> I guess you. This is Hollywood. Damn, this man. is Hollywood. So it's like, mm, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's like I can't. I don't get invited to certain places because they. He, he's not. He's not playing the game. Mm. He's not playing it. He doesn't play by the right. Just got back looking at all this shit on the internet. Niggas putting dirt on my name. I'm a silent one, bro. This shit ain't, it ain't, it's in me, bro. It ain't nothing I gotta do. It ain't, it's in me, bro. I'm the real, I'm, I'm, I'm a real one, bro, you know. I heard Faison said I get down, like, you got me fucked up with your people, bro. Like, I mean, you probably could say that because you don't know me, but you wrong, bro. Like, you know, I'm like that, bro. Like, I was a real nigga before I was a rapper. A lot of niggas was a rapper, then they became a real nigga. And this talk about my record and stuff like that. I got two convictions, marijuana, third offense. Marijuana bringing it in the penal system. In California, I would have never served a day in jail. My record is, my record ain't bad as you think it is. Real talk, bro. So, uh, you know, all the people wishing dirt on my name and wanting me to be like them, it ain't gonna happen, man. Boosie boo, nigga, I, I stand on business. I stand on business, man, and, and, and that's the bottom line. Shout out to everybody that supported me through this shit. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't work bad as you think it is. But shout out to all my fans who supported me. Everybody, everybody who speaking negative on me. We'll see, bro. Like, it's all good, bro. We'll see, bro. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a real one, bro. And the whole world know that. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in on Boosie, who was released from the federal jail last night on the gun charges he's been fighting. And it's been a whole real roller coaster ride going on. A lot of rumors online, a lot of people coming up with theories and stories. Well, Faze on Love made an appearance on the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. And I'm gonna link in the description where y'all can watch that in full that because they did discuss some other things on there too from what I seen. But he made a claim that, hey man, Boosie possibly snitched. It wouldn't surprise me. Boosie came out and immediately and checked that. And that's exactly what a nigga supposed to do when somebody putting something like that on your name, bro. Me not even being a street nigga or a gangster or nothing. Nigga, don't be getting out here telling nobody I'm snitching or you think I'm snitching on no public platform that this big. That this big. I understand people talk behind the scenes or, you know, have conversations in private. But to go onto a super big platform 
and the media with everybody watching and say, oh, it wouldn't surprise me if he snitched or uh, closed mobs don't get fed. You saying, hey, nigga, that nigga probably finna tell. He down with the play. And Faison Love is completely wrong here. I don't know if at times when he does interviews, because there's been a couple things with Faison Love that says some wild shit, and I don't know if that's part of his comedy. Or he did say he didn't really know that everything is going on. But I, it's like that's what media has be, became now where people go on platforms and they say they don't even know what's going on. They just say stuff. I don't know if it be for shock value or if this how if this how it's really feel. Is it just, hey, let me get something out here so I can trend or, hey, I done made the appearance. I don't want to not say nothing. I don't really know. But, fam, a man who's standing on something, and then you saying I'm telling on my people and I'm giving people up, bro, that ain't cool for nobody, dog. Under no form, shape, or fashion. There's no way you can make that make sense to another man. Because he like, hold on, bro. Nigga, I'm up here going through and keeping it silent on my situation. People got to understand that snitching stuff ain't just some street code. It's a man code. A man is supposed to take responsibility for his actions, meaning, hey, I got caught, I broke the law. I don't get to tell on another man to save myself. That's just a cowardly act amongst men. Even my tea lady raised me, my mama raised me. Hey, you have to be accountable for what you do as a man in real life. Telling on somebody else to save yourself, and then you go on a platform and suggesting that I'm doing that, when it ain't even nothing to tell on. It ain't even nothing to tell on if you look at the case. Hey, they allegedly caught him with the gun. What are you going to tell? He would have to go and really be a whole CI in the future for that. And like Boosie said, nigga, my record ain't even bad as y'all niggas think. And they even put it up when they unsealed the federal documents that, bro, he only got weed charges, nigga, on his record. See, a lot of people see the rumors and the other storylines on the internet and think he went to jail or got locked up for any of those things. He's found not guilty on that death row trial. So that means that's not on his record. And when you look up his record and what he's been arrested for, he don't have no violent cases and violent offenses and everything. But Boosie will have to move accordingly now. The feds is going to be up on him. He is bonded out. Uh, they watching him. Once you're on the feds radar, you're on there forever. It never goes away. Uh, Boosie can move how he want to move. He is going to move how he want to move. He's a man. But at the end of the day, they own him for sure. But it ain't like he looking at life in prison, bro. Niggas is looking at it like, oh, they finna lock the nigga up for life and everything. They do got a seriously extreme Viagra level hard on for him, pause. But he can move accordingly and take care of this business. I will say dial it down a little bit online with the speaking on certain things in the case because they are going to be watching everything and looking for what they can to try to use against you to make any type of case stick or a case in the future that they might try to come wiggle up on you because that's how they get on, bro. It's clear as cut. They is watching Instagrams. They watching YouTube videos. They watching Twitter. They watching any and everything. They listening to the lyrics. They read it to you in the court. When they show you what, what they own, you better believe them. This is how the feds work. Boosie, he going to be all right, though, man. He going to bounce back, continue to do your thing, run your bag up. Just got to move more smarter out here and stay on your pivot. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.